Welcome back to an All Signs Aries through Pisces. Keep in mind, if it is not your story, acknowledge, move on. Starting with Aries Elemental Quickies. Let's see what we have for energy. If you are dealing with a fire sign, Aries Leo or Sagittarius. Heartbroken. This person's just moving on. They feel like they lost a good amount of time already. Honestly, just kind of done hurting yet. Yes. Now, that can be somebody new. It doesn't have to be an ex. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ten. Libra. Oh, Libra. Hush, looky. No. Okay. This person's kind of releasing this ending. They aren't seeing any offers. So they're kind of feeling sorry for themselves. They are acknowledging... They're acknowledging that they were a, a player. Yeah. So they know they caused it themselves. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Also can be a Leo. Restraints. Oh, major restraints. This person's like stuck in the chuck it, fuck it. This, they're thinking that there's something about this can be a Libra. That's not fair. All right, so they're holding back. There is no conversation here. This person feels like this shit just did not go their way. I want one more for why they feel stuck. Could be just that they're not acknowledging that things could be different. Yeah, they just think that this was a waste of their damn time and that you were toying with them. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. The Hanged Man can be a Pisces as well. That also can be in Aries. What are we juggling? Ah, uh, you know, if you're thinking about this person and it's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and you're waiting for them, they're not ready to give anything just yet, and they're working on their ego. So, you know, mm, they're feeling really good about themselves. They're waiting. I think they need a time out. All right, we got a new deck. We got a new deck. Can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Okay, it's about personality. So before we pull any other cards, we're going to pull a few of these, and it's about the person you should meet next if you are single or loosely connected, okay? So like water sign, things about them. That's what we're going for. We're going to start with that. Okay, source, Aries, two, three, four cards, whatever flops out. Tell us about the person that should be coming their direction. One or two more. All right, anything else? That is it. Okay, so thus far, the person that you should be meeting next is headstrong, resourceful, independent, values knowledge, so intelligence, which um, just with that and the independence, I'm saying that's heavier on air signs because they are into the logic. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, possible interest, continuing education, architecture, art, appreciation, Writing, technology, computers, medicine, and economy. Yeah, economy. Then we have energetic, assertive, planner, and self-driven. Makes me think of Aries Leo Sag. Okay, possible interests are fundraisers, home and family, social gathering, sporting events, leisure activities, and budget analysis. It's good they put that last. It's kind of boring. Okay. Analysis. I know, right? Budget analysis. That's fun for somebody? We didn't say fun, Wookie. Hush. The last one we have for you is sincere, intuitive, reserved, and easygoing, which makes me think of water signs, Cancer Scorpio, um, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Possible interests, cultural arts, books, environmental law, so they're a tree hugger, musical instruments, so musician, piano flute, etc. Spirituality, socializing in small gatherings. So a little bit of an introvert. So we're going to put those up here and get a clean deck. Something for fun because we like fun here. We sure do. Okay, source. Who is coming Aries way? The 
big bad Wookiee. Not the big bad Wookiee. Okay, so it can be a Leo, and then you have the Five of Cups reversed. It can be somebody that's missing you or regrets something that happened between you and is holding back. All right. <clears throat> what do they want? They want to clear up some confusion from the past. How do they figure they're doing that? This person and you have a history. Obviously, we're talking about somebody that you are aware of. How do they want to get rid of this two swords? So there's a stalemate between you and a person, but they they still do offer affection and emotions, so they still do care about you. The strength also can be passion. How do they view Aries? Don't do it, Wookie. The chariot. So they see that you are very, very driven. One more. Raspberry beret. Raspberry beret. I'm going to beat him. I'm going to beat him. <laughs> That's the queen of swords. So they see that you are very sternly moving forward. <laughs> and that you mean business with how, you know, how you run your entire ship. One more for feeling, feeling, feeling. we got to do better than that shit. Okay. This is saying they do want to get together and at least talk. The Queen of Swords has kind of got a little bit of a chip on their shoulder, so they could feel that you have a chip on your shoulder. There is something that was disagreed upon in the past that still has not been, you know, brought to the head and discussed. With the Chariot, there could have been a physical move. Okay. This is saying they want to collaborate with you. Again, with the three, this is gatherings. This is getting together and going somewhere. So they do want to get together have a discussion. I don't think you're going to tolerate any shit. How you view this is the Six of Wands. You want them seeing you looking good. So you know you got your shit together. Generosity, okay? It's like, if you are willing to work with me, I will work with you. How do you feel about this person? You think they're full of shit and that it really isn't going to go anywhere, then why are you looking to entertain this? Because it sounds like fun. Oh, hush. Sounds like fun. I thought we were all about fun. We are all about fun. So, <laughs> here's the discussion. This person does want to come back. I'm not saying reunite, but they sure the hell can with the Three of Cups being there. The Wheel of Fortune moves forward. This is about timing and destiny. This is something that is meant to happen. They're going to come at you really small. But now you have two cards. I think you do not believe that they're going to come your direction. I really do. It's like you're still kind of uh, a little bit negative. There's the counterpart for the King of Swords. It's like both of you are holding back a little bit on emotions. Can be, again, with the Sun here, reverse Leo. There can be a depression issue with that person, but they have a little bit of a negative do doggy donor attitude, or you do. There is doubt here. I don't think that you believe that this person actually wants to come back. That is what I'm getting there. All right, potential outcome for Aries. Potential outcome. Nine of Swords. This is something that you, you know, really have just let go and you're okay with either direction. And then we have the Ace of Cups. Now, this can be self-love. I'm not feeling necessarily that this is an offer just yet. It does feel more like self-love because you're still defensive. One for this person moving forward. Yeah, they're not sure either. So you got two people that aren't sure about what the other one thinks, but still wanting to get together and talk things out, and both of you are stubborn as fuck. Seriously. What could be coming that is absolutely new? You could have a Cancer Scorpio Pisces coming your direction. That is the Nine of Cups. That's wish fulfillment for yourself. Taking care of yourself. So I do feel that the Ace of Cups is your self-love and feeling better about yourself. Can be a Virgo. You. This is somebody that you've been ignoring or vice versa. So this could be very random that this comes out. And then we have the Queen of Cups. So it's like, you know what, mofo? You messed with my heart. You messed with my emotions. No wonder you're defensive. Well, let's see what we have at the bottom of the deck. I don't think you want this to go anywhere. I think you want something new with the 
fool here can be another Aries, but here it's saying I'm going to choose to be single and I'm not going to flatter them to let them think that they're going to get me in the sack for a night just for fun because that could be what they're looking for too. It's like, yeah, you know what? And that's all it would be. So don't flatter yourself. This is you really feeling good and being in all your glory. It's almost like getting together with this person would be a nice, uh, <laughs> oh, I got to say it, showing off. Look how good I am doing without you. So why they actually hit you up, God only knows, because you got the moon. So it can be a Pisces, but you have really put work into yourself, and you do doubt this person. Holding back on the passion, they're still probably confused as hell. There was a lot of confusion in this connection, and there was this shitty stalemate. However, on the newer side... You can have a Leo, a Virgo. Let's see what else we have. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, when we were reaching for signs. Pisces again. A lot of water. A lot of water. So I, I do see somebody reaching out. I think you want something new and fun. You know, something spontaneous with that chariot. It can be a cancer, but I really have to say it's like it looks like you moved away from this person. Not moving gung-ho towards them. It's your determination to show them that you got your shit together and that you are doing extremely well. With Without them doesn't seem to matter one damn bit. Let's get one from the universe for you. Boogie says smile and strut your shit. Strut your shit, Aries. Okay. Source, a little input, please. A little input. Sure thing. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, you have never <gasps> say never. Interesting energy. Okay, Aries, that's what we have for you. Let me know what you think about those cars. They look like they could be fun once in a while. On we go. Okay, Taurus. Elemental quickies first. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. All right. Seven of Wands in the Sun. This person might want to fight for this connection, fight for this relationship because they want to be happy. Let's get one more. Nine of Wands. Yeah, you know, yesterday. Heavy on the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They could see you being a little bit stubborn. Oh, well, a lot of bit stubborn. But I do think that they want to come your direction. Have a conversation. Have a little fun, fun, fun. All right. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra! Oh, Libra. Jesus, Lord. Are you going to do that on every sign today? Why not? Hmm. Get you your time. Locking me up. <laughs> That's what I get for locking them up. Yes, I gagged, locked him up, and all you could hear was little Chewbacca noises. Eight of Swords. This person feels stuck. And then the Page of Pentacles. Did you friend zone them and they're just going, now what? That's kind of like, now what? Now what? Nine of Wands reversed. Let's get one more. They want to let their walls down and they don't think you're... <laughs> You even, quite frankly, give a shit. You got the four of wands, but they sure do. That's saying, I feel a connection here. They feel stuckety stuck. Interesting energy. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. We have the tower. So one hell of a rude awakening this person's had. What else? Two of Pentacles, something that they did not balance correctly. Now, that can just be work and home and you. Yep, that's pretty much what it was. They screwed up the connection by juggling. They could have taken, you know what, flew out of a different deck, got bumped. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands can be a lot of burden or taking on too much. Just saying. This person does want to come back and have a discussion. So I would expect them to come in kind of out of the blue a little bit quicker than you actually imagined that they would to try to um, have a discussion. Doesn't mean you're getting back together. Just means that they finally figured out what the hell the problem was. It's like, oh, click. I, I know why now. I'm a dipshit. 
Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. King of Swords reversed. And the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Wands. Okay, so a truth came out. This looks like it could have been a third-party situation. Or this is some heavy, heavy arguing between you and this person. Two of Cups. Okay, no, I'm not feeling it's third-party. One more. Jerry today. No Jerry today. Five of Cups. This person still has emotions for you. I mean, they're seeing you as a little bit on the bossy and um, attention whole side, but they want to talk. Yeah, they want to apologize, and they're going to be very, mm, they could be a little bit manipulative about it, so be cautious with that. Don't let anybody talk you into anything. Okay, we got a new deck, because new decks are fun and shit, so... We are going to find out with this new deck, singles and loosely connected, what your person could be like in your direction. So, source for Taurus. A couple cards, please. All right. Loyal, of romantic, spontaneous understanding, possible interests of fiction books, teaching, religion, cultural arts, music, counseling, and community theater with the religion in there, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the uh, hair font. So Taurus could be a possibility, or it's just saying that they really dig you. Yeah. One or two more, okay. Okay, they are also sincere, intuitive, reserved, and easygoing. So a little on the shyer side. Possible interests: cultural arts, books, environmental law. Music, spiritual, okay, so Hyper says Pisces, uh, socializing in small gatherings, and then they are a little unpredictable, easily stressed out, competitive, and reserved. So, um, Libra, or Leo, okay. Wookie. Yeah, we're thinking about getting Wookie wear for you guys to look at. Wookie wear. All right, source, person most on Taurus's mind. Or coming Horse. towards those singles that have nobody on their mind. What do we have? Ooh. Page of Pentacles. Someone's got something to offer. I'm making it small. Because they have feelings for you. That also can be self-love. So let's get a little bit more. Tell us more about this person. I feel like... Now don't take this wrong. Don't take it wrong. It can be a Pisces, but they could need medication for anxiety issues. I don't feel that it... They're an anxious person, so a little bit on the... High strong. <laughs> yes, thank you, high strong. Okay, and right now they're at a point where they feel like they've been searching and searching and searching and trying to find something and wanting to be able to move forward. So, I mean... It's, it's kind of like anybody. It's like, I'm missing, what's missing in my life right now is love. How will they feel about you strongly? You have the two of cups. So this is somebody that will have interest in you. And, you know, want to slowly take things forward. That's two twos, that's choices. How will Taurus view this? Okay, so you're going to be like, I'm willing to spend a little bit more time with you. There's potential of moving forward here. So contemplating the emotions can be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Then you have the Sun. Also can be a Leo. I think you have would have fun with this person. This does not have any X on it at all. Also can be a Capricorn. They can have a sassy, negative, ah, sassy side. Lusty, lusty, but they do want to get together, take you out and have some fun. Anything else, source? So this does feel like new er energy, and this is after an ending. You have the ten, so an ending that you had and they had, I would assume. You have a possibility of an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could move forward very nicely. So I do see a new er person coming your direction. It could start small you could with pentacles being here meet them through a friend a family member or at work but i do think their intentions are good i think they have a little bit of a nervous nilly type temperament they're lonely you know they want life to move forward too 
and they want to get together and you know celebrate. Unwind. Unwind. Hush, Wookie. Okay. <laughs> this could be at a gathering, so a wedding reception, a graduation, etc. But when the when the two of you meet, it's like, oh hey, hi, hi, how are you? Okay, so this could be something. I would expect this to be uh, happening soon-ish. I really do. I think that you would be interested in at least having some fun, and I think that you would really dig them. Okay, I'd be a little bit of a passionately, ooh, I can see hanging out with you. So we have Leo, Capricorn heavy, Aries, or a Cancer Scorpio, Pisces very heavy, Pisces again, Pisces again. So this person wants positive movement moving forward, wants to be able to get on with life, have something to look forward to. It is a good outcome and a turning point. I like it. We're fucking leaving that shit. Okay, source. For Taurus. That was nice. You like it? Taurus, 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 Taurus. Not at this time. And pff, bottom of the deck. I don't know with have faith. So hang in there. Hang in there because that looks pretty damn nice, Taurus. All right. On we go to Geminis. All right, Geminis. Elemental quickies first. If you are dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. Two of Wands. Mm. This person's little wandering eye is coming your direction. They want to hang out and share something with you. What else? Okay, so somebody that you already know regretting something that they had done. They could have chosen you or somebody else over another person. So be careful with breadcrumbing. Okay, they could have been involved in something else. Fool at the bottom of the deck, wanting to start over. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra! Oh my god. Wookie, want it down? No. Strength reversed. Can be a Leo. This person's irritated. Can be a little bit on the pushy side. Empress. Very nice. So this person has interest in you and kind of wants to get moving here. Taurus as well. It's like, let's boss this shit up. Oof. One more. Yeah, they got an offer. So this is somebody new that wants to take you out in a date, but they're impatient. So they could, I'm not going to say temper, but they could be a little bit uh, impatient. But they really are very interested in the way you look, the way you present yourself. And this is the type of person, can also be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn, could be financially well off, but they want to, you know, get to know you. Could also be a secret flirty person, you know, just kind of watching from afar to see what you're up to. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. No. This shit ain't going anywhere. That's how they're feeling. It's like, fuck you. Fuck your breakthrough. I want nothing to do with you. Oy vey. One more for ten friends. Temperance reversed is that's an impatient jackass that feels like you've been, you know, lying to them and they've been cheated on. Ick. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. The devil. You don't want to deal with that shit anyway. That's a narcissistic asshole. It's all about them. All right. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. No water signs for you. Three of Cups. Something to celebrate. Getting together. A date. Potentially. Not wanting an ending or not wanting to change. Three of Wands. Ooh, we need one more. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's trying to make plans to move forward into the future. Mm. With an emotional offer. So this can be somebody from your past. That's There can be at a distance. There can be a physical move that needs to be made, but they want to have a discussion about not ending this or restarting this and has an offer of affection. Okay, so we have a new deck because new decks is, you know, what I do. Got to have more and more and more in the Wookiee bitches. So here's today's deck. Whatever, she's lying. Ugh. 
impractical, vulnerable. This is traits, okay? Workaholic, feisty. So we're going to try to figure out. I'm going to try to get from source a couple cards on what the next person you are dating or a person coming your direction could be like. Source. Gemini. Gemini. Okay. You got two, one more. So it could be an air sign, Aries, Aquarius, Gemini, and you see the word there. Not saying it out loud, somebody might scream. Whatever. Overly sensitive, dislikes conflict, extremely private, overlooks some details, so they could have a little bit of an attention issue. And we have kind, ooh, we have two. Kind, practical, devoted, compassionate, common interests or possible interests, movies, crafts, painting, library, nature, agriculture, social service, pharmacy, pharmacy. So it could be a pharmacist. Ooh. Fun outdoor activities, they like to be outside. Perfectionist, analytical, logical, good listener, definitely on the Libra side. Possible interests, cultural events, Computer technology, engineering, translator, finances, chemistry, and independent sports. Wookie, what the hell is an independent sport? Got meat sex? No, uh, well. Could be. Could be. <laughs> I mean, what the hell? So it's I am. It's fun when it's not independent. True enough. Okay. <laughs> anyway, that's what we have for that. So we're going to get a clean deck. And we are going to see what we can figure out here. So I'm also feeling heavy with, uh, you know, some of the traits. Water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Okay, let's let's play. Spin the wheel for Gemini Source. Who is coming their direction? Who is coming their direction? Single or loosely attracted? This is major conversation coming your way. Quick, quick, quick. I want to get to know ya. I want to talk. Uh-huh. Hush, Wookie. That's what they all say. Yes, yes, yes. Two of Pentacles. So this person's... Oh, boy. Juggling the idea of coming your direction, and they have baggage. Now, this can be the ex coming your direction. Yes. X upright. Yeah, it's the X. How they're viewing you is the Queen of Wands. They are so attracted to you and so adore you and look up to you. Okay, what was the blockage here? Could have... Oh, shit. Well, shit. It was a hidden third-party situation. There's no better way of putting it. Now they want to talk. They juggled you. Here they come. Mm. How do you view this? I got a few ways for you. Okay. So you're saying, fuck you, I'm starting over. The emperor doesn't tolerate any shit. It can be an Aries. How do you feel about them? You're keeping your zipper up tight. There's probably a padlock on it. This is not something that you're interested in. You do not trust this person. Nope. You are not interested. So what is absolutely new? When the emperor comes up, it can be somebody new coming your way. So you have a new chapter that you are starting. Not interested in this past person that was a cheater. Can be a cancer coming your direction. Ooh. Very, very determined, ambitious. It can be somebody that you meet while you are out and about. Can also be a Virgo. I feel like this person's also recently had a time out themselves and learning a lot about themselves. One thing this person does not like is confrontation. So if you're putting up a tent together, don't argue and fight. How they would view you. They'd want to give you attention, and I do feel vice versa as well. One more for the chariot. This is somebody that would collaborate and work with you. It also can be somebody that you do work with. So this looks like newer energy coming your direction. It looks like new dating. Sure does. Aries Leo Sagittarius. You're telling your ex to kiss your ass right in the middle where it gives. 
that they screwed up and played with you emotionally. While they were in a connection, they stepped out with somebody else and lied about it. Okay. Wow. Quite the story. So, energies that could be coming your way. Up here we have the Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, heavy on the Aries, heavy on the Virgo, and heavy on the Cancer, Pisces as well. All signs are up here, though. So it does look like this person from the past wants to bring their baggage back your way because they think you're the bomb diggity. Well, you are, but boy, did they fuck up. And they're, I mean, wow. You can't get any more clear about a third-party situation that got nailed. It's crappy. So you are saying absolutely not interested. Not interested. I am starting a brand new chapter. So, you know, do you really want to talk to them? No, I think you're going to turn your back to them. I do see that they're going to reach out to you. And you might talk to them, but you aren't going to have anything very positive to say. I think civil is the only word you're going to be able to tolerate. Let's get an answer from Source. Okay, Source. A little input, please, for our Geminis. We're thinking about doing Wookiee wear. What do you think of that, guys? The outlook does not look good. Yeah, not for the X. Mm -mm, I don't think you want use your intuition. I don't think you have to. <laughs> and then you have yes, 100%. So I do see new, 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 new energy coming your direction and a little bit of a blast from the past coming your way. Not so, not so goody on that one, but that's what we have for you. And we are really seriously thinking about getting Wookiee wear. It might say something sassy on it and then have a picture of the King of Swords because he does look like it. We'll have to show you another time and then it'll say Wookiee wear on the side. <laughs> we like fun here. We sure do. All right, on we go to Cancers. All right, Cancers. Elemental quickies first. If you were dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Oops. Eight of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so there was a time of holding back emotionally, and now they want to move things forward and at least discuss this. Queen of Pentacles reversed. They don't feel like they can trust you. Hmm. What'd you do? What'd you do? Two of Wands. It feels like you made a different choice that was better for yourself. It also can be that you took a job that was away from them and they took it extremely personal. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra! Oh, my God. I had him tied up and in the closet yesterday, so he couldn't make noise. Okay, so somebody wants to move forward with you and offer you something lovey-dovey. You got Romeo Prince Charming here that's got grand ideas of making a future with you. Holy crap. Ooh. This is like divine timing. So it can be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, I will say that. But this is somebody that could see having a future with you and long term. Also can feel like a twin flame soulmate, very comfortable in their presence. Oh, and you can meet them at a wedding. You can meet them at a, a gathering, a party, outside, barbecue, etc. All right. Fireworks. Fireworks, tomorrow. yes. Not tomorrow. That's right. <laughs> I don't know if it's tomorrow. Actually, is it tomorrow here? I don't know. It's different everywhere. Four of Swords reversed. Okay, so this person's ready to have a discussion. It needs to be... They feel like they were breadcrumbed or that something wasn't right, that wasn't fair. Okay, and they're hurt, okay? They are hurt. They could be feeling that you are an emotional manipulator. No, Z has to have Naughty. Naughty. So watching you, they want to have a conversation about something they feel was very one-sided. If nothing else, they just need closure because they aren't feeling very good about anything. I don't know that you're going to be interested in, in them as a person, you know, with the Eight of Pentacles reversed at the bottom of the deck. But you might, you know, give them their closure if that's what they're looking for. Release them like a fucking butterfly. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Four apart. Can't hear you. <laughs> strength can be a Leo. My strength. Mm -hmm. Page of a cuppity cuppity cups. Woo! 
It's not a fish in a cup. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Oh my gosh. <coughs> I'm not repeating that story again. Okay, this can be a Leo. This can be a Sagittarius. This person's holding back, but boy, do they want to make an offer. This is a cuddle buggy type person that's very patient. They're waiting. They're waiting and waiting and waiting because, oh, are they interested in you with the Queen of Wands. So somebody that's sexually attracted to you, pay attention to who is looking around at you because somebody definitely is. Get some. Yeah. All right, we have a new deck. It's fun. We like new decks. This is about um, personality traits, okay? So like fire signs, energetic, assertive, you know, dingleberry, or whatever the case may be. Okay. Source for Cancer. Who is coming their way that we should be aware of? Give us a little input about that person. Right. Okay. Creative, observant, daredevil, and self-confident. So possible interest, comedy. Ooh, we like that. Magic tricks. Mm -hmm. Archery, scuba diving, weaponry, hunting, aviation, skydiving, and most. So you got a major daredevil here. And then you have needy, controlling, rigid, and intolerant. Ooh. I don't know about that shit. And then you also have calm. Nurturing, passionate, and open-minded. They Can like... Have a schizophrenic... Shush, Wookie! Pepper? Oh, my God. <laughs> schizophrenic scuba diver. Be no, quiet. Proper. Yeah. Photography, theater, visual arts, poetry, creative writing, editing, sociology, and management. We'll see. <laughs> Dude, this person is all over the fucking... Ay, Hush. Like six different personalities. No, no, no. You're yes. ruining. No, we're having fun. Stop ruining the fun. I'm having fun. <laughs> I'm going to whoop your ass. Cancer, who's coming your way? <laughs> yes, I am. When you're sleeping, you're going to wake up with man boobs. Permanent marker. Okay, so it can be a Libra or a Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Somebody is, wants to slowly move your way. They feel like you could be a right one for them. You better check your peanut butter, dear. Hush. There's a sexual interest. So this person can be younger than you, but they this is slow and methodical. Somebody that plans and they do want to. It's like they're studying you right now, but they have interest. How will they feel? Feel. King of Cups. Holy sh Whoa! Swing! You got a winner. Tell us more about the Quint King of Cups here. This is wanting to become more involved with you. Hermit. I'm feeling a little bit... Highly intelligent, actually. Highly, highly intelligent with the Hermit. Look at the counterpart here. How you see the situation. Queen of Cups. So using your intuition, but still having that nurturing affection to be offered. This looks kind of sweet, I gotta tell ya. All right, and then we have the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Swords to fuck it all up. Okay. So, <clears throat> there could be a little mama drama, daddy drama that has to be dealt with and contended with because somebody's pissed off about the situation has something to say. Could be an ex of yours or theirs. Who's pissing on your damn Wheaties here? Because with judgment there, somebody's judging this person for coming your direction and they're pissed. So expect a little confrontation. I believe this person is going to be getting the confrontation, not you. I do feel Aries, Leo, Sagittarius coming your direction and something you would be interested in. And yeah, they got me maybe some kind of family drama, something. It's an ex. It's an ex. It's a pissed off ex. That's the queen of wands. So we're going to put that mega bitch up over here because it doesn't really belong. It's something that you would have to deal with, yes, and it's probably because of kids. Three pentacles. So you'd have to, like, kind of get used to... The bullshit drama and just let them deal with it. Mm-hmm, definitely. Page of Swords. So this person would be constantly watching you. Let them watch it. Mm -hmm. 
But this is wish fulfillment. This is moving forward. This is yearning. This is a brand new offer and the magician. This is nice. So the only problem that you have is the mega bitch over here that didn't probably want to be an ex but needed to be an ex because they're bitter. Bitter. They could have been very emotionally manipulating with the queen of wands reversed. Um, does not have to be a female, by the way. It can be a male. Does not have to be a female. But, you know, so you have somebody watching the situation as it plays out. This, I feel, is going to take a little longer. With the Knight of Pentacles, he may need to be, he or she, wrapping up a divorce. And I say that because of justice being there, okay? So it's like they can't, uh, you know, legally play um, until things are done. And that could be what the uh, ex is bitter and shitty about. Sticking in their face constantly and watching what the hell they're doing when it's really none of their fucking business, okay? So this person, now the hermit makes a little more sense. They want to keep things on the private down low. They're not hiding anything from you. They just don't want any shit from anybody. They're trying to keep the transition of everything very smooth. Male or female, again, they have something to offer. And they are taking their time to make sure that it's a good connection. So very smart. Very smart person. Can be a Virgo. I'm liking this shit. It's that yearning. And ooh, are they yearning? They want to come in real fast and get to know you. So right now it starts out as a crush. Curious about what you're up to. I do feel a separation or divorce. But somebody that's wanting to say, hey, you know what? I might not have. The mega bitch wasn't for me. Mega ditch the bitch. But you could be. So, I mean, they're smart. They take their time. You could have a Pisces coming your way. This is something you could have manifested. This actually has really nice energy on it. Could be a Libra. Libra! Oh, my God. I'm going to stuff a sock. No, Want to know a socks in your mouth? No, this is sweet energy. Hermit, Virgo, star, yearning, passion, wish fulfillment, Movement forward. I like this a lot. I do, I do, I do. We're leaving it right there. Let's get one from Source. Oh my gosh. Can you take it down an octave? There we go. Yes, no, maybe so for Cancer. What do they need to know? Almost positive. One more. Pending. I feel that's a justice card. I really do, Cancers. Okay. And on we go to our fine Leos. All right. Elemental quickies. If you are dealing with the fire, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius source. Swoosh. Um, you definitely got an Aries, Leo, Sag. It's got some interest in you. Holy crap. I think they're keeping it on the down low right now. Why? Why are they being secretive? Oh, shit. Okay, so this person's interested in you or interested in you again and <laughs> thinks that you're kind of bitchy about it. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely something that somebody wants to come back. They're regaining interest again. Kind of keep it on the down low. They're not sure that you'd be okay with it. Could be feeling like they get their ass chewed and also can be a Scorpio. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra! Oh, yes, Libra. In the house. Emperor reversed. You got a control freak. Go we'll teach Noah how to Dougie. Nine of Wands. This person's afraid of being hurt, so they're holding back emotionally. One more. A lot of doubt here. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. They, they could be going through their own turmoil right now. This could have been an, after an ending with you, but really afraid of being hurt. A lot of doubt here. Can also be an Aries. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Six of Wands. I got it going on for Leo. But I'm a jackass and full of shit. Really. This person likes to embellish truths. Page of Swords. 
There's too many people. This is gossipy, happy horse shit. It's almost like they, they need to have a lot of people around so they get attention. You got the king of wands at the bottom of the deck. Be careful with that one, okay? They might give you attention, but they might be giving attention to others as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ooh. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> this person has kind of just given up. They're acting very stoic. They could feel a little bit emotionally manipulated, but they're trying to act cold. One more, because I'm nosy. And at the same time, this feels like an ex that might want to come back around. I got to tell you that, because it's like, I really just gave up and, and I acted like an asshole to get rid of Leo. Ooh, maybe it wasn't such a good idea. Nine of Cups, Wish Fulfillment. Needing one cup to make it the full. Okay, three of cups getting back together to check things out. It looks like revisiting the past a little bit. All right, we have a new deck. We have a new deck. It is a deck about personality traits. So we are going to try to see, like, earth signs, fire signs, air signs. Source for Leo. Person coming their direction. A little bit of info about them, please. No, you're too nosy. I like being nosy. I'm good at it. Okay, one more. So far you have argumentative, dislikes, routines, inconsiderate, and unfocused. So that's the downside. Then you have creative, observant, daredevil, self-confident, possible interests, comedy, magic tricks, archery, scuba diving. So let's hope it's not unfocused scuba diving because that would be a bad idea. Mm -hmm. Weaponry, hunting, aviation, skydiving. So you got a daredevil, major daredevil, and then you also have air sign. So Aquarius, Gemini, and go ahead, say it. No. <laughs> you fucking poner. Libras. Okay, so those are some of the attributes. Replay that if you want to hear it again. Source. Who is coming towards Leo and why? Oh, let's see. Yeah. Well, that was quick. yeah, it was quick. Six of Pentacles. Somebody that wants there to be more balance and an even give and take. I kind of like that. Can be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Ooh. What they want is temperance. They want a better balance. They want to show more patience, more of a patient side. That is another card of balance. So is a six. Okay, your history. Okay, you had a stalemate. There had been a final choice made. I think they're rethinking this. One more for the two. Yeah, they pulled back their emotions. They pulled back everything. How do they actually feel about you? They're hiding something. What are they hiding? Ah, snap. Okay, Three of Cups. This is somebody that wants to come back your direction and get together and at least talk. They're feeling you out to see if this is worth coming back to. Just saying. Okay, one more for feelings. Feelings. Nothing more than... Okay, Pidge wants... So that's a lot of interest. So this person's going to play it like nosy rosy and start real small. What you doing? Did you notice my joker leggings? I wonder, you know, if this little dude has to wear nylons or if he shaves his legs. Just saying. But you also have somebody else that could be interested. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. So this person could be seeing or hearing, hearing, hearing through the grapevine, through friends. You got three pages up here. This person's hearing through the grapevine, and they'll listen to anybody's, um, not gossip, but just kind of sticking their neck out to try to find out what you're up to. How you view this is justice. So it can be a Libra. And then you have the hangman reverse. So somebody that you had not trusted with your heart. One more for the hangman reverse. Can be a Pisces three of pentacles but it is showing that you would collaborate with them so it does look like you want to investigate if this could go somewhere as well just saying mm -hmm. 
There you are, Leo. Holding back, but there's still passion here. This person's trying to reach out to see if this can be resolved. I don't see any third party. I don't see any happy horse shit. I just see them reaching out to friends to see what the hell you're up to. And then hearing that you're getting attention from other people. Six of Wands. And I don't think that they like it. You got the Six of Cups. They're not letting go of this. They're taking their sweet ass time. So this can be after a, a period of a break. How does this move forward? Queen of Wands. Well, it's going to make you feel good. So this person wants to show attention. I mean, there is feeling there. There is feeling there and it is mutual, but you want more balance to this. Then you have the Ten of Pentacles. So it does look like this person is seeing that you're really working on yourself and your prosperity. Working on your finances. Working on something with career. And the Magician, you're manifesting mm -hmm, a new beginning. Now this can be an Aries coming your direction. And you can say no to this person. But it does look like they are checking out the field and see who's all playing in the game. It does seem like that there was a, an, an issue of... Trusting if they're really going to stick around, but boy, are they coming in to talk. You have the Eight of Wands and the Fool. So this could be somebody as well. If you are not interested in your ex that comes at a distance that you meet online and, you know, flirt, get to know them, have some fun, but you also have death. It's <laughs> an ex. Okay. Look how great you look. Holy crap. So the person from the past, we'll, we'll start with that, sees, oh my, you look like, oh, wow, you changed whatever, and oh boy, are you looking like superior, independent, able, able, able. It's almost like you have a glow about you and they cannot help but notice it. The Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment, so this could be to them that you would be, but it's also what makes them happy, and it's one cup short of a full house, okay? <clears throat> Death reversed to saying, maybe an ending wasn't such a good idea. You could choose to stay single from that person, but they aren't wanting to let go of this. They are thinking about the memories. New. Aries. Coming in, can be a distance, can be a Libra coming your direction. Pisces or a Leo, heavy on the fire signs. People are seeing the difference in you and the steps that you're taking to improve yourself. And it does look damn good, I got to tell you. So expect to hear from your ex. Absolutely singles not wanting to deal with the dingle, okay? There does look like there can be a, a still, again, heavy on the fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, and then Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Pisces. Libra. Yes, Libra. Go teach Noah how to Dougie, I said. That's coming your way and really has interest in you. People are really seeing how good you look, how attractive you are, how outgoing. It's like you, you've perked up again after the ending that you had had. And kind of wanting a piece of you. This is balance. It's patience. It's making others wait for you. I like it. I like it. So let's just recash here. Rehash cash. <coughs> On the possible signs. Aries Leo Sag. Very heavy. Libra. Very heavy. Woo! Mm. Scorpio. Pisces. Lots of pages. Which means immature but nosy at the same time. Checking out what you're up to, but I feel this is you manifesting yourself and all the improvements that people are noticing. Holy crap, Leo is also possible. Wow, nice, Sagittarius, and then Aries. Nice, nice, nice energy, you guys, wow. All right, let's get from the universe. Yes, no, maybe so for Leo. Anything else to add? Okay, and we have still being considered. The universe is working on it. All right, Leos. Sounds like something exciting is coming your way. All right, on we go to Virgos. 
All right, Virgos, grabbing a clean deck. Let's see what we have for you. Source. Virgos, dealing with a fire. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, Sag. Always so damn stubborn for you, the elemental quickies. Aries, Leo, Sag. That's better. Okay, this person has an ego issue. Could be doleful, indecisive, or, you know, stroke my ego, make me feel better about myself, but they feel very challenged, juggling. Weighing out the pros and cons here. Uh, if they consider you a player or that this, this uh, energy with you has been very on and off, so this is nothing new. But they want to offer you something. Huh? Yeah, shush. It's not the fish in the cup for you. This person is still interested in you, even though it's been on and off. They're really weighing out the pros and cons of coming and offering something. They want to at least talk to you. They're admiring you from afar is what it's looking like. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Told you to go teach Noah how to Dougie. Leo is a possibility. Holding back. Strength. Oof. Pisces as well is a possibility. This person's waiting. It's like they know if they hold back a little bit longer <laughs> that you might not be so pissed. One more. That's what they're hoping. Oh, yeah. So this is somebody that there was a connection with. They might want to get back together. Bottom of the deck, they know that they have to make a really good offer, but they'd have to start small. So they're hoping if they wait it out... Actually, they know you well enough that if they wait it out, you won't be as pissed off. So they're letting the timing cool you down. Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right. This is a lot of work. This person feels like something is taking too much time. What else? Mm. They're not willing to offer anything right now. They feel like this was just kind of, really, one more. Kind of a waste of time. I think that there's a delay and they're feeling guilty about something, honestly. And so that's why they're defensive. Mm -hmm. Okay, bottom of the deck, not talking to them. Five of Pentacles. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Oh, one-sided happy horseshit. You will bow to me. You will give to me. I'm a sappy, crappy jackassy. This person's heartbroken. They're still thinking about you and not wanting to let you go. They feel like it was one-sided. And they are, yeah, they really hurt. I mean, it's like they feel like they're being forced to move on. Okay. Clean deck. Right after our new deck. You guys are going to like this shit. Okay. Move that deck out of the way. We have a deck of personality traits. Okay. So, we're going to try for new or whoever is coming your direction. Source. Okay. One. One. Generous, outgoing, warm-hearted, unconventional, possible interest, catering, dietitian, real estate, mechanics, family traditions, cooking, entertaining, charity, community politics, and horizontal mambo. Okay. They're generous in bed. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. So it could be another earth sign. What else? One more, please, source. Okay. Energetic, assertive, a planner, and self-driven. Possible interest, fundraising, home and family, social gatherings, sporting events, leisure activities, and we don't know why in the hell, but really, budget analysis. What? So, finances, stockbroker, I got I don't know. Okay, source. 
Who is coming Virgo's way and what the hell do they want? Marketing. They want a budget to analyze. They want a budget to analyze. They want a, they want a budget. They want to analyze your budget. Okay. You have the two of rods reversed. So this person's a little bit of a pussy. Hesitation, but restless nonetheless. Oh, snipper dipper. This is somebody that you have dealt with before, or this is so they know you're pissed off. Okay, this is somebody that's trying to come back your direction, but they know that you're pissed off. What do they want? Balance, justice, can be a Libra. One, one more for the King of Swords. Muzzle him. Oh, there'll be more than just one for me. <laughs> I love a duck. Page of Pentacles reversed is saying they know that you don't feel the same way about them and that they're concerned that you might be dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius and they are still sexually interested in you. They could be feeling friend zoned, but it does look like they're the ones that left. They're the ones that bailed and now the shit's hitting the fan for them. Not so pleased with the decision they made. Pity, pity, pity. Okay, how do you view this situation? Okay, you're really kind of over this shit. <laughs> you're not completely over them, but you're over this shit. So don't try to kid me. Don't try to kid this person. You still have feelings for this person. If it was this way, I'd say done, 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 done. Okay? But it's reversed. You are not completely over, and I don't think you'd mind if they came back your direction. Might not be in your best interest, and that's why you're playing. You know, that's the, it's the hardest feeling to feel. It's like, no, I'm done with this. They hurt me so bad. They did this, this, this. Stop talking about it. Wait, wait, wait. Hush, Wookie. This is saying that this is taking a long, long time to get your wish fulfillment to get that last cup and you are dragging yourself down with the negativity. I'm sorry, I'm calling you out. You are still thinking about that person. Yes, you are still pissed off, but yes, it's something that you still wanna work on. What's with the fucking trust issue? Because this is a soul connection and you do wanna to talk to this person. What are you afraid of? It can be a Pisces. I think they're coming in to try to defend this connection and it was a long-term connection and they don't want to juggle anymore and they are hurt, broken. They want to offer commitment. I think they mean it. Okay, so what direction is this shit going? They want to come back. They want you to come back. You're still having, you have a trust issue. You think they need to drop some toxic shit. It does look like to me they're trying to change things and be more fair. You still think that they betrayed you and toyed with you emotionally. But you want to talk to them. I mean, your energy, it's like it changes all the time in this reading. If this resonates for you, it's like, fuck you, ex. But I love you. But fuck you. But I still think about you. Give me this schizophrenic one. Hush, Wookiee. <laughs> we are thinking about getting Wookiee gear, Wookiee wear, yeah, and then putting your sign like on, on the back of the shirt or the back of the joggers for fun. This still says that you yearn for this person, even though you feel like there isn't any hope, you do want this to work out. You do, you're still waiting for this person. You are still waiting for this person, even though you haven't been talking to them and there's been ignoring. Who's ignoring who? To you, it's like this shit's taking too fucking long. Taking too long. You're hurt. You want them to boss up and act like an adult. Give more to the situation. Be more balanced. Be more supportive. Be more reliable. What is coming that is new, new, new if this person is not interested in the next? Okay, that would be a new chapter. I believe that is fixed signs. So let's see, Taurus, Scorpio, shit. Okay. Taurus, Scorpio, I always forget these. Google that shit. 
You don't want any confrontation. You do not want to fight with somebody. And it can be a Leo coming that could make you feel happier. You're going to have to use your intuition. You will know where to drop your cup. The Queen of Cups, male or female, does not matter. There's regret, remorse, and you have one hell of a choice to make. You have a really hard choice to make, and you don't want to make it. You won't want to make it. But if you are single, completely over your ex, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces could be coming your way, but it's going to be very slow because of the energy that you're still holding on to this ex because you do still miss them. You invested a lot of your time and you feel like they just betrayed you and emotionally manipulated the situation and toyed with your emotions. There isn't a lot of optimism on your side, but you still care. That's a really tough spot to be in, but you can have a new chapter. You can have a new chapter with this person, but there needs to be a lot of communication and it does still look like the person from the past wants to stick up for this. So if they're not ripping on emotional issues too much, but if they are up and down with their emotions, depression, mental issues of sorts, you might choose not to want to have to deal with that. And the reason that I say that is because the moon reversed, wherever the hell it was, can mean that that is a problem, okay? No messing around with that. I don't joke too much about mental illnesses. Because there isn't a control factor, okay? Fixed signs are Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Thank you, Wookie. He loves me. He loves me. It does look like you're ignoring, but avoiding as well. It's like you're almost trying to teach this person a lesson. That's not going to help you. It's not going to help you. You need to decide where you want to put your cup. So take your time. This can be somebody that's at a distance from you, but it does look like they want to collaborate. They want to work. They think you guys work well together. They're, they're, this can be turned around. It can be. It can be yearning and, and hoping and wish fulfillment. It can. There's the moon. That's secrets. But it's not always secrets. Sometimes when it's reversed, it's saying that there's a chemical imbalance and something that somebody just cannot control. You know, needing needing help, that's uh, anxiety issues, etc. It doesn't have to be anything astronomical, but it is there. And when I see this too here, I wonder about that as well. This person doesn't have the patience right now. They're hesitating, but they're they're afraid of. They're isolating themselves and they're afraid of what could happen. Okay, here too. I don't think they even trust themselves. They feel like they schmucked this all up. Okay, Ay vey. quite the story, guys. So that is what we have in a nutshell. We're gonna, I'm gonna narrow down the major arcana for you a little bit because all signs are up here, but there are a few that are heavier, like Leo, Libra. Let's see, Pisces. This person's still thinking about you. And, you know, sometimes that's all it takes to pull somebody in. And when you don't have the confrontation in your face and you have time to let things settle down, Taurus, the person wants that commitment back. Pisces. I already said that one. There was another guy. Aquarius. Uh, Virgo. You guys always show up in your reading. Aries, Pisces again, heavy on the water and the fire. All right, let's get an answer from Source. Okay, Source, we need a little input for our Virgos. Virgos. Virgo. Virgos with a tough time. Okay, what you're thinking is right. That's a tough one because I really feel like it goes up and down. I don't know. We don't want to hear that one. We want one more. I don't know. We should take that card. We should throw that card away. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard from an Oracle card. I don't know. Really? Come on. Missing well, a puzzle piece. That just means where we're manifesting has no idea what they're manifesting. Ugh, I don't know that I agree with that, Wookie. I don't know that I agree with that. You want to go around? 
universe is just like, quit confusing me. The universe is like, quit confusing me. No, I think you guys are, are not exactly sure yet. So take some time. Talk to God. Talk to Source. Really go within and think about what is it that you really want deep down. What is it that would make you the happiest? Okay, that's what I have for you, Virgos, and on we go. Okay, Libra. Have you heard that? <laughs> you hear that? That's the Libra talking Chewbacca in the kitchen. Libra! <laughs> Aries Leo Sag. Slow and methodical. Slow and methodical. You like that? Okay, so this person's trying to figure a way out of this, but they're holding back a little bit. What are they figuring a way out of? What are they unstucking themselves from? They want a new beginning. They definitely have sexual interest. Okay, we'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. <laughs> Shush, Wookie. We are thinking about getting Wookie wear. For your leisure. All right, we have the the tower. <laughs> have your your uh, sign put on the back and wookie wear, wookie gear. I so like there's wookie been wear wookie wear. Yes, yeah, so you guys can tell me what you think. Okay, wish fulfillment. This person is feeling they are not sure if they came your direction. If you would take an offer from them, one more for the tower. Yeah, they're missing you. This is somebody that knows what the hell they had. And then, uh-huh, don't know what you got till it's gone. But certainly it does have the uh, common sense to try to come back your direction and actually put some work into it. So this is this person coming your way, making it work. And they yes, want... we are the shit. We are the shit, yeah. Libras are the shit. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer Scorpio Pisces has a fish in a cup for you. Could be a secret admirer watching from afar. What else? Not talking right now. Ooh, yeah, really not talking. They want to make an offer, and it's like a damn serious offer. They're going to start small, but right now not talking. One more. I think they're trying to figure themselves out, and that it's not so much about you with the not talking. Yeah, they're really fighting themselves. I think that uh, their, their, their wisdom is going to win out and they are going to make an offer. Quit being so intimidating. What the f... Intimidate... Go. <laughs> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. He's nuts, I'm telling you. Should have left him locked in the damn... Crazy car. like a fox. Okay, look at that. One more. This is new dating. They're going to hold back on their emotions a little bit. You know what? Kind of healthy. So they're watching you right now. They want to get to know you. They're trying to investigate. They're not going to drop their feelings until they know for sure that this could. But it's like, boom, meet you. Want to meet and greet? Ooh, yeah. That's newer dating. Getting to know you. Little reserved. Can be a sassy Libra. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see what we have here. We have a new deck. It is about personality traits, okay? So we are going to get a couple for you, loosely connected or single Libras. Okay, you have a feisty workaholic that is an unconventional bossy little shithead. What else? They are also funny, energetic, very disciplined, and humanitarian. They're fun activities, socializing, sports, athletics, innovations, challenges. Yeah, they, they like challenges. They got a Libra then. Fitness instructor and bartending. They like to tend to bar. Generous, outgoing, warm-hearted, unconventional, possible interests, catering, dietitian, real estate, Family traditions, cooking. I'm just looking at the other cards here. Entertaining, charity, community, and politics. God help us, politics. Okay, so that's what we have for possible 
personality traits. I'm feeling Aries Leo Sag. And I'm also feeling Cancer. All right, let's get a clean deck. Let's see what we have for Libra. Who is coming their way? Ooh, Aries Leo Sag. This person is curious about you, wanting to get to know you. This is an outgoing person, can be younger than you, and they are manifesting. They are wanting to move this forward. Ooh. That's somebody that has a lot of will. So this is somebody that's <laughs> a go-getter, a real go-getter. How they view you? Look at that shit. Come on. Come on. Bottom of the deck, you have the star. So it can be an Aquarius as well. This is the kind of person that it's like yearning, yearning. You know, you know what? We probably should put this over here. Yearning, but has something to offer. This feels brand new. Woo hoo! Liking this. How do they view you? Besides, they want to start up. They want to travel. They want to go places. They want this to expand. They're very optimistic, adventurous. They want to take a chance and spend some time with you. Heavy on the Aries. Bless you. Okay, so with the Ten of Pentacles, this person could be into financial. So accountant, money, can meet them at work, can be financially well off. They want to take it. Oh, you could meet them at a family gathering. Ooh, gosh. Nice. That's not kind of creepy. Oh my god. We're not talking about Kentucky cousins here. Oh. Okay, it can be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is the type of person I'm really feeling that they could have financial abundance. They do have a lot to offer and they definitely are digging you. So you meet this person, they're curious about you. What else? Temperance. Okay, balance. Could take you out for a couple drinks because there is water involved there. But it's patience, waiting. Wow. I mean, wow. And then you have the three. So there can be a physical distance. But that's two people making plans. So I would say anticipate something coming your way because this person's interest is increasing and so will the communication be this looks like look at this a new chapter and a connection we ain't touching that shit that's nice that is really nice energy they can be manifesting you they might already be aware of you you could have already met them but it does look like they want to take you out or be at a gathering not necessarily family but this is somebody that I really feel has their financial shit together and they want to make plans with you. This is expansion. This is a new chapter. This is moving forward. This is movement. This is fun. This is fun. And this is yearning. This is nice. This is nice energy. We ain't touching this shit with the 10 foot pole. So we have cancer signs, a cancer. Why did I say Cancer signs? Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Aries, Leo, Sag. Aquarius, Sagittarius, Aries. But all signs are up. You know what? Just Aquarius. Not just general air signs. That's it. Just Aquarius. So that looks damn sweet. Let's get an answer from Source. Ooh. We're going to get a timing card for your ass, too. That looks damn nice. That would be a yes. All right, let's go for a time. I got it, I got it, I got it. All right. Shh, don't tell the other signs. Shh, don't tell. Don't rat my ass out, guys. Don't do it. How long are we waiting? Oh, one to two months. Wow. You can make it happen sooner, supposedly. Okay, wow, wow. Ooh, group shiver. That looks really nice. Somebody's getting lucky. Somebody's getting lucky. If somebody invites you, you know, if a friend invites you to something that sounds boring as hell, go. Just saying. 
feel the need to say that. All right, nice, Libras. On we go to Scorpios. Okay, Scorpio, dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. What do we have? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, let's see. We have a cup, I'm not talking, and squabbling about a tent. So this person's battling, battling themselves, trying to think about making an offer to you. And what an offer it is. You have two aces. This looks like a new beginning. I like it. We're going to leave it. So, you know, I don't know. that. I really feel like they're fighting themselves on making an offer. I really do. I don't see that it's somebody you have dealt with in the past. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra. Oh, my God. Yes, it's awake. The medications wore off. Ah. <laughs> King of Cups reverse. This person feels that you're emotionally manipulating. There was a long con distance connection, long term connection, a soul bond of sorts, but they do want to try to work this out and get back together. So now they can be just emotionally devastated, but they do feel like there's a connection with you that they want to have back. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, all right, Eight of Swords reversed, ooh, flying, and fuckery, okay, this feels like this person held back their emotions and now they're kicking themselves in the ass for it, what else? Yuck. No. They're confused as hell or treated you like an option. Screw that. Run away from the water signs. No. Water sign. Look at that in the bottom of the deck. Walking away. They have no plans of sticking around. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Page of Wands reversed. Okay, so you got a little candy ass here that's got no huevos. Needs to inflate their marbles. Why? Because they're a commitment phobe and yet they want to make an offer. So it's like they're interested in being in a relationship, just not mm, so sure about long term yet. It's like the type of person that gets hives when you say engagement or boyfriend. And they go, Ugh. they start breaking out in hives and they itch all over the fucking place. Okay, we got a new deck. Okay, this is just personality traits, so we are going to see what we have for you. I'm going to get one shuffle in here. No money repeat source. A little bit about the person coming towards our Scorpios. Energetic, assertive, planner, self-driven, positive interest, fundraising, home and family, social gatherings. Sporting events, leisure activities, budget analysis. We, we really got to get rid of that budget analysis. Just doesn't sound right. Serious, reliable, organized, conventional, possible interest, trivia pursuit, math, social science. You have a nerd here. Social events, physical, fitness, video game, definite nerd, and travel. One more. Really? Yes. Really. Okay, and then we also got fire signs and air signs right on top of that one fell out. Okay, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energetic but reliable and stable. Mm -hmm. Like it. Okay, clean deck. Scorpio, who is coming towards Scorpio and what the hell do they want? Okay, it can be a Taurus, a Virgo, or Capricorn. This person's trying to decide about investing in this connection. They are guarded. I think they um, still have a little bit of fight left in them. It's not that they're doubting. It's like uh, the person's going, ah, oh, shit, snap all of what the hell's next. Could be a little bit defensive, and then you have the lovers. So it could be that they need to make a choice. Why are the lovers? Okay, so they're they're just backing off of everything. This could have been after an ending that they had. It's looking like it. 
Looks like they had a stalemate. Okay. Reverse, we know them. Upright, we don't. We do not know them. So this would be somebody absolutely brand new. High Priestess. Can be a Pisces sign. Why the High Priestess? I feel like this person is either shy or just kind of, I mean, very smart, but is respectful enough to not get themselves involved with too prematurely, okay? It looks like recently they had to move on from a situation, and that's probably why they're taking the emotional vacation there. Okay, yeah, they had to, it's like they were forced to move on from a connection that they felt very close to. And they have no interest in that person anymore, so that is not competition. Just know that this person has a history. Tell us how they view or will view our fine Scorpios. They are interested to get to know you, and this could be a new chapter. Bottom of the deck, you have work it, work it. So again with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, fixed signs. So Taurus, Libra, or Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. This looks like it's going to take time for them, but they do want to work on a new connection, a new chapter in their life. They want something reliable. So it does look like they have interest in you, but they want to take it slow. So you might start with friends. Yeah, it's going to take a long time for this person to be ready to be in a full relationship. They really probably got burned pretty badly. They want there to be, can be a Libra, but they want there to be balance. They want, it's like, I, I don't want somebody that's not the right one for me. So a lot of waiting. Now, there can be a distance. This person also can be wrapping up a divorce or separation too. <clears throat> but this is anticipating the future. So this is like making plans. I would expect this person, not necessarily in the near, near future, but getting ready to make plans. You will be waiting for this person to be ready. But I'll tell you what. Bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Wands. It's something that's going to make you feel good. And this is the kind of person that is reliable, that would make good memories, that would work with you, would feel that you work well together, and it would be a connection. It would be it would be a good connection. Bottom of the deck, you have the Magician. can be a Pisces. This feels like brand new energy. You got the Wheel of Fortune hanging out at the bottom of the deck. So this person needs time. We'll get a... Don't tell the rest of the signs. Leo got... Or Libra got one too. But we'll get a time card out and see if we can get a, an idea on time. This person's working past an ending that they had. And it felt like to them that it was supposed to be the one they were going to be with. It doesn't exactly show... But it, it does say that they are no longer interested. They are emotionally moving on from that. And they would need to start very slow, but they do want a new chapter. So this is nice energy moving forward. This seems like a reliable person. Very reliable, very methodical, very serious about a connection. Very serious about a new chapter. This is nice energy. Let's see, we have Gemini up here, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag, all signs are up here. They are. But Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, for some reason, really strikes out. So let's get a timing card and see if we can get an idea. The waiting, you know, are you going to want to wait? Because it does look like there's going to be a wait for this person while they lick their wounds a little bit longer. I don't think they've completely given up on love, but they definitely have a sore spot. Okay, let's get an answer. A timing card, please, source for Scorpios. After a big change, well, we kind of already knew that one. And then you also have in a few weeks. Well, that's not as long as I had anticipated it being, but hey, what the hell? All right. So they have changes coming, and give it a little bit of time, but, ooh, somebody very serious. It's a god dang nerd. You got a nerd coming your way, Scorpio. A fun, good-looking nerd. Okay, and on to Sagittarius we go. All right, fire signs for Sagittarius. If you are dealing with an Aries Leo or another Sagittarius... The Tower... The tower power. Burn, baby, burns the disco inferno. 
And the seven of bullshit. No, 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 no. So this person got busted, holding back their emotions. Somebody, be it you or other, had a lot of doubt about this connection with the Nine of Swords. Mm -mm. They're giving up on it. They're like, this isn't as bad as you know it had been at one time. I think this bothered the person, be it you or another person, more than it did them. A lot of doubt. So... We don't need no water, let the motherfucker Fucker burn. Burn, burn motherfucker. Burn. burn. I agree, Wookie. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra! <laughs> okay, three of pentacles, working together, collaborating, a group of people. King of swords and the five of swords. One more. This person could be having a hard time at work. We'll say that. Oh, yeah. No, uh-uh. I don't trust this shit. There is no breakthrough with this person. They have. They got too much shit going on. And that No. They're a bossy little conceited bitch. No. No male bitches either. Okay, Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Jack Hess. Seven of Cups. A lot on their plates. A lot to choose from. Confusion. Ace of Pentacles regarding an offer. What else? Ooh. So they're putting a lot of thought into this. One more, damn it. They don't think you're interested. Because you're not talking and then you don't even see the offer so not sure why you're not talking to this person that doesn't think you're interested which is why they could be confused but they want to move into a connection with you and offer one hell of a earnest beginning you might just not be interested can be a Virgo as well Taurus Virgo and Capricorn so you're avoiding that person Sorry, but true. Okay, Four of Swords reversed. Who are you ready to talk to? They're ready to talk to you. Ooh. Can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is fast action. But there's too many fucking people. Okay, one more. Nope, 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 nope. This person's got other options. Holy shit, they got other options. They're very busy. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. Jerry, Jerry, yeah, it's Jerry, Jerry time because this is too many fucking people. They have a lot of options and you're one of them. They'll talk, but there's plenty of other people that they're talking with as well. Mm. Clean deck. I'm having that shit. Okay, we got a personalities deck. Okay, so let's see what we have. Type of person for Sagittarius that is coming their way. Schizophrenic doom prepper. Not. God. Sensitive, tolerant, cooperative, easy to interact. They like the arts, reading, museums, law, storytelling, health education, and event organizing and history. It's quite the combination. And we got a daredevil, observing, creative, self-confident. They like um, anything but missionary style, com comedian, quite the funny one, magic tricks, archery, archery. Oh, shush, Wookie, hunting. I got an arrow for you. <laughs> I got an arrow. Aviation, skydiving, and motorcycles. And at times, okay, fire signs popping out too. At times, they can be insensitive, domineering, romantically clueless, dislikes, and they, they don't like confrontation. Sounds more like an air sign to me. Just saying. Okay. Don't you girl over there. All right. Sagittarius. Who is that? Well, talk back to me with that chair, Chewy. Who's coming Sagittarius' way? The devil! So it can be a Capricorn. What is or it? it can be the devil. 
Who who is coming up from hell to hang out with you? Ooh. So it can be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is very sto stoic, and I'm going to say uh, into themselves. Yuck. Can, there's Aquarius. So what is this person's intention? They're yearning for you, so they could be a bit on the obsessed side, but they are alone. I don't think they work well with others. Mm -mm. Fatal attraction. Fatal attraction is right. I feel this person is the type to betray. So let's just fucking skip this one. New, no, new, no, new, no, new, no, new. No. Be careful of a player that tries to get you hooked up into a connection that looks real pretty in the sheets. New, no, new, no, new, no, new. No. This person would be very uh -huh, convincing but would hold back their emotions. I guess Source is just not done telling you this story. Anything else? They're full of shit. They come in and out real fast. Not reliable. And then they apologize. So this this is no, 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 no. This is no. New, new. Source, anything new. Okay, so your ex wants to come back and chit-chat about moving into a new direction. So you have two paths to choose. You either got the fucking player from hell, and I mean literally from hell, or you move forward with your ex. That's two options. Doesn't mean that's the only options you got, because you are giving to yourself and feeling better about yourself. Can be a cancer. One more for the cancer. I'm saying duck and hide for the fucking weekend. Yuck. Pisces, also potential. This person's got, I feel like, a commitment full, and they're full of shit. Yeah, you know what? If you don't want to argue with anybody or have any competition, just stay home for the weekend. Holy crap. Because someone's definitely interested in trying to get to know you as an offer, but they're going to emotionally be a manipulator. Move in a different direction. You'll know. You'll know. Because this person will not be trustworthy and your ex is an asshole that hurts you. Run the fuck away. Avoid everybody like the plague for the weekend. Yuck. Source anything positive. No. This I'm is... Okay, well at the bottom of the deck we do have wish fulfillment. But this is working on yourself. You need to work on yourself and shake this shit out of here. Do not shake the devil. Do not shake the devil because you will get hooked up with them. You will. And they will emotionally hold back and keep secrets. Work on yourself. Keep your zipper up. You don't want to emotionally be manipulated. Your ex is looking to come your way, but it's going to be an argument. Drama. Bullshit. They want to offer you something new. They still are interested in you. You could. Here's the one damn okay card. Other than we, we could have a very um, concentrated Aries Leo Sag. It's interested and curious to get to know you. Can be at a distance from you. And with the world, they really could be at a distance from you. Otherwise, so play online. Swipe left. Swipe right. Don't talk to the ex. Don't go out drinking. Holy shit. So Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces is in here. Aries is heavy. Yeah. The fuck is all that shit? Capricorn. Cancer, I believe I said. Scorpio. That is the worst futuristic reading I think I have ever seen. Do not leave the house unless you need toilet paper from Walmart. All right, don't source. Talk to don't, talk to, Walmart. don't talk to anybody at Walmart, especially if they're dressed funny. Get out of your head. Yes, you need to do some healing. Negative. <laughs> no shit. Cycle needs to close first. I do agree with that. You need to work on your healing. You need to manifest a better outlook for yourself so that you can get out of your head and move on. Holy crap, that's potent. That makes me want to take a drink. Should, what else should we have? You guys vote. Margaritas or 
Pina colada. Pina colada. Margarita, strawberry daiquiris. You guys let me know what your flavor is of the day. Okay. Capricorns. Dealing with a fire. Aries, Leo, or Sag. Be nice to the Sag. <laughs> I said Cap. <laughs> Be nice to the Sag. Yeah, Sagittarius is not going to have a good weekend, it doesn't seem. Okay, Aries Leo Sag, Five of Pentacles, not talking, emotional, poverty, abandonment, issue, confused as fuck. Could be in another connection already. No, run away. Run away. Gemini Libra Aquarius. His drugs wore off. Sorry, guys. Okay, Whatever. two of wands. We are thinking about getting Wookie gear. Wookie wear. Wookie wear, sorry. And then put your, your sign on the back of it. Okay, so you have somebody that really wants balance. They do want to move forward with you, but it's like you got to be the right one. Heavy on that Libra. So there's two paths that this person is thinking about right now. And you are one of the major considerations. And then we have the fourth. Yeah. Okay. So it's an ex that is thinking about coming back your way. And making an offer. But it looks pretty damn nice. And bringing the balance in. We like that. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Well, hell, this person is avoiding this ending. They are not happy. I feel like you got a hothead here, too. Five of Wands. Ooh, they want to fight this shit out. Going to be some drama with this ex. They do not feel like this is over. And then, you, oh, yeah, pushy, pushy, happy, horseshit, impatient as hell, and not digging this. Oof. Also can be a Scorpio. Heavily. Leo as well. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. This person feels like this was a waste of time. Why the world reversed then? <coughs> this cycle's not complete. This person got a kick in the ass from karma. Pity, pity, pity. But they want to come back around. Be careful. They might want to come back and crawl on your couch just because the shit hit the fan and didn't go so well with somebody else. It's at the bottom of the deck. Yep, five of swords. They're going to kiss your ass. Okay, clean deck. First, we have a new fun deck. Yes, it's a personalities deck. So we're going to see what kind of personality the next person coming your direction could have. Okay, Source, what do we have for Capricorn? You have sincere, intuitive, reserved, easygoing. They might like the culture of arts, books, environmental law, environmental law. Interesting. No comment in there. Music instruments, spirituality, socializing in small groups. So a little bit of an introvert. Modest, logical, honest, thoughtful, strategic games, strategy games, engineering, taking classes, a computer nerd, backpacking, hiking, and meditation. All right. And then you also have unique, considerate, supportive people skills. So, ooh, that's nice. So you could have uh, somebody that's interested in family, friendships, health, spirituality, again, uh, financial security, coaching, chef, boyardee, or a buyer. Very interesting combination, but a little on the softer side. So I'm going to say Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right. Source, who is coming Capricorn's way? It's coming their way, and what do they want? One more shuffle. I didn't see the fool peek out, so it could be an Aries. Queen of Cups. Why the Queen of Cups reversed? Okay. 
one more for the Queen of Cups reverse. All right. <clears throat> this person right now is still hung up. Could be hung up on you, not feeling like there's any closure. They might want to attempt a reconciliation. How do they view, 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 view Capricorn? Page of Wands reversed. Okay, so they think that you were involved with somebody else in a sneaky way. And that you just kind of gave up on this. That you're like, this is just a waste of time. How do you view this person? Ouch. Full of shit and wire pants. So you're both kind of accusing the other one, and it does look like they were calling you out of cheating, okay? Flirting it in the very least. What do we have that's new? New, 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 new. You are dropping this person. You are dropping this. So they might reach out because they're hurting to try to reconcile, but it doesn't look like you want to have anything to do with it. New. Can be an Aquarius. This is like yearning. It's healing, but it's expecting something new. What else? Tell us more about this Aquarius potentially or new beginning. Mm -hmm. Can be a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Somebody wants to move forward with something. Will it actually put some work into things and there would be balance? Heavy on the Taurus Virgo Capricorn. What else do we want to know about this new person? Okay, judgment reversed. Why judgment reversed? I think they kind of doubt themselves a little bit, but it does look like, you know, kind of like they kick themselves over dumb things, so self-critical. Why is this person self-critical? Why do they judge themselves incorrectly? Okay. So it seems to me sometimes they feel like they fuck up and then they end up kissing ass and trying to make things better. I want a little more about that. I think they're a damn worry ward. It's like they get this feeling like they screw something up and then you like like you're going to be they've got a history of being hurt and things not being fair. They haven't found the one that's right for them, but they sure the hell are looking. So there's the fool. Can be an Aries, but this is somebody that wants to start a new chapter. They want to get to know you. They could be asking questions about you now. They want want to start maybe on the smaller side, but they do have something to offer. I feel like they are always worried that they're going to screw up the connection and the relationship. So very self-doubting. What else do we have? Ten of Pentacles. But what they want is long term. Anything else about this newer person? They have a lot of interest in you. They could be a little on the shy side. The high priestess is at the bottom of the deck. And they want to take things slow. So that is a good sign. Okay, we're leaving it there. I feel like you have somebody that has a lot of, that's really been grinded down to feeling like nothing too many times. So they question and doubt themselves quite often, but they do want a connection. This is somebody I feel that would be faithful. You've got so much stability here with this new er person and they're ready to date. They want to have something to yearn for. They want to have something to wish for. They want to, you know, spend time with somebody that's reliable they don't want to have to have doubt in their mind. They're ready. They want to work on something that means something to them. They had a recent breakup as well. Could have been a Gemini. They will be kind of an ass kisser, but it does look like they give to the situation. I don't feel like this is breadcrumbing, and this does look like they want this to move forward. So it can be a Libra, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. 
Taurus Virgo Capricorn, pretty heavy. Your ex is still hurting. I would imagine you are as well. But I do see new dating coming your direction. A new path, which does look nice. The accusative type horseshit that you dealt with in the past, you just are done with it. And they think that you were full of shit and sneaking around as well. You could have just bailed on it going, I've had enough of this shit. I can't, I can't anymore. But they continuously blame or always accuse you of doing something else. So it's like the doubt. No, they still feel this connection and they are hurting. They could emotionally try to pull you back in. Be careful because it could be an attempted reconcile that would fail. Okay, so let me just review the signs. Heavy on the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We do have Aquarius up here. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, fixed signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All signs are up here. And then Libra on the heavier side. All right, let's get something from Source for you. Careful with the X. All right. Unresolved fucking mystery and soon, very soon. Okay, Capricorns, that's what we got. And on we go to Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, let's do it. Source, what do we have for Aquarius dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius? Okay. What do we have? Queen of Swords. Hmm. This person has a chip on the shoulder. Why? Well, they're sticking up or defending or want to defend the connection with you. They don't feel like giving up. They're trying to manifest you back. So they're pissed because right now it's not working. It's at the bottom of the deck. Ace of Wands. I think they're just kind of fucked. Okay. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra! I'm telling you guys, the medication wore off. It's called a tolerance, baby. <laughs> it's a tolerance, baby. God. We are thinking about getting Wookiee wear. Okay, this person is just prancing on down the line. They're done. They're moving beyond the hurt. It's not as much of a loss as it had been to them. Heavy on the Scorpio as well. They're just done. Kiss their ass goodbye. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Tough call on how this one flew out, but this is somebody that's really thinking about coming back your direction. It was a tough decision for them to leave in the first place, but they had a lot of doubt. One more. No, this person doesn't give fairly. It's breadcrumbing bullshit. Not worth your time. Don't invest in it. Mm -mm. And they give you twisted half-truths or embellish the truth. So it looks good. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorns. Boom! Don't see this shit coming. You got one rude awakening coming your direction. Somebody from your past wants to make a new offer. It's like, whoa, where the hell did that come from? Their pants. Oh, shit. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to break another wooden spoon over your ass. Okay. Yes, I am. <laughs> we have a new deck. It is... Personality types. So we are going to try to figure out the type of person that is coming your direction. Aquarius, please source. Okay, tactless, resistant to change, judgmental and inflexible. Well, fuck that. Okay, next. Hey, look at that, Larry. <laughs> Unique, considerate, supportive, people skills, positive, possible interests, family, friendship, health, spirituality, financial security, coaching, chef, boyardee, and buyer. And then we also come here. These were stuck together, so we're taking them. 
humble, dislikes change, kind of shy and subjective, traditional, realistic, committed and hardworking, building and repairing, interest, credit analysis, <laughs> why? why? Oh, okay. <laughs> Dentistry, very interesting. Volunteering, gardening, community service, and a general contractor. Okay. Shh. Oh my god. That that boy. I'm what was this? Source, who is coming Aquarius's way? Can be a Sagittarius. You have temperance. What does this person want? That's somebody that's patient and is a cuddle bug. Why in the hell the Seven of Swords? Oh, shit. They're lying if they say they're dropping their toxic ways. I'm feeling, okay, they want to offer you something. I'm feeling that the toxic ways could be drinking or substance abuse. Uh, how do you feel? Offering you a headache and you're holding back. You're smart enough to resist. You're telling them to go fuck themselves with the Ace of Wands reversed at the bottom of the deck. What is new? New. Okay, so Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let's roll. We know who you are. Yes, but we might have new people watching. <laughs> Okay, be careful, be careful, be careful. You have somebody that could be in another connection already. This person would be um, kind of self-sabotaging their connection that they're in already. They are being watched because they're a fucking flirt. They're an egomaniac and they love attention. So you have an attention hole that cannot be trusted, could be in a different connection. Uh-uh. This person juggles. We don't like that shit. They could use others for money or be very, very codependent or staying in a connection because of finances. New, 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 new. Oh, son of a bitch. I think you guys are staying in. You're staying in with Can uh, Sagittarius this weekend. Hold back from anything right now. Mm-mm. This feels like... Unless you want to be on here. Yeah, no Jerry Springer. Clarity. You're going to know. You're going to know. You're you're going to know. You're going to move forward. You're going to move beyond this shit. You're not going to deal with attention hoes. You're not going to deal with people that cheat. They know how to work it, but they're full of shit. Stoic, juggling you, using your memories as a weapon, using your heart as a weapon, and holding emotions back. Run, hide, change your phone number, order in pizza. You're not interested anyway. No, don't order in pizza because then you're going to get the Uber driver. Or Look at the that. Uber driver hitting on you. No, not the Uber driver. Don't talk to anybody that has hurt you. It's all one sided bullshit, and I think they were screwing around. No, mm -mm. stay guarded. This person doesn't want an ending. They want to try to get back in. No. Yeah, they want to come in and apologize. No, no, no. The ex wants to, no. 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 So you put your foot down. You said no. And I do feel like this person, you got two energies up here. One is the ex and one is a new fucking crazy asshole that's in a connection and lying about it so if you meet somebody new uh, uh the ex is not dropping their toxic shit somebody else is in another connection hold all emotions back till further notice or further reading we're talking codependent happy horse shit and that's probably why they stay in this connection but they are stepping out and it's not just a thought with you they are in a connection long term married whatever the hell the case is and you will find out they're an attention whore. They're watching. They're being watched. This is major attention whore. No. Yeah, I would say um, be careful on the 4th of July. Don't go out and party unless you got people that you rely on reliable with you. Source. 
If this is what you desire, you are being guided to the answer. What the hell else flew out? You will soon find out. God, I hope not the wrong way. Stop asking. Oh, my God. I really not the best energy, guys. Sorry. Mm -mm. Run and hide. Run and hide. Lock the door. All right, Pisces. Dealing with an Aries Leo or Sagittarius source. Wow, some powerful messages here today. All right, you have judgment. You have talking and communication, and you have somebody that is regretting something that they did. So expect somebody to come and kiss your ass. They can be at a distance, but they want a second chance. Okay. Ooh, my deck flew all over the place. Oh. It's a slippery little sucker, and it's little. It's very little. Okay, get him back. Don't touch that statement. Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Libra! This man's wore off. Okay, five, sorry, page of wands reversed. This person is kind of a wuss, but they do want to have a connection with you. They're just afraid. They're afraid <coughs> to try. They might be trying to manifest you, but they do have interest in you. I don't think this is that they're unreliable. I think they're just kind of scared. Are you intimidating them? Quit being so intimidating. Oh, Lord. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You have the world, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ten of... Wow. Okay. Wow. This person wants a new beginning. They see you as very, very able to take care of yourself. They are definitely liking how you look. They like everything that they see about you. They want to start a new connection, and they want it to lead to something long-term. Wow. Wow. One, two, three. Was that Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn? Schmuckity duck. I got all excited there. What do we have? One, two, three. No. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If not, you get an extra. You get the fifth element. The King of Cups. Trying to make themselves emotionally available to you. What else? Ten of Pentacles. Reversed. Could be having financial issues, but they feel stuck. So I'm saying they're stuck in a different connection, but they have their eye on you. Yuck. We don't want any cheaters. No, what is wrong with society? Ay. Don't start wookie. Okay, we got a new deck. It is personality traits. Okay? So we are going to try to get a little bit about your next partner or whoever is coming your way. Okay, you have calm, nurturing, passionate, and open-minded Possible interests are photography, theater, visual art, poetry, creative writing, editing, sociology, and management. All right. And then we also have, come here, fire sign was stuck to the bottom of this. Okay. Creative, observant, daredevil, self-confident, eye candy, comedy, I had to add that. Magic tricks, archery, scuba diving, a weapon tree, hunting, aviation, skydiving, and motorcycles. Calm, nurturing, passionate, open-minded, photography, theater, visual art, poetry, creative writing, editing, sociology, management, fire science, Aries Leo Sag, potential. Headstrong, well that would be an Aries Leo Sag, resourceful, independent, Values, knowledge, possible interest, continued education, architecture, art appreciation, writing technology, computers, medicine, and economy. That's a lot. Okay. So, let's see what pops out for you. Pisces. Source, who is coming towards Pisces? And what do they want? 
What do they want? Who and what? Bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune, so it is looking like something that does move forward. Okay, look at that. I dig it. This is somebody that sees that you have everything going together. They, they like the whole package of what they see. They see you as single. They see you as not um, having any drama and crap. That's nice. We like that. Tell us more about this person. So they're very observant. They recently had an ending. It does seem more about this person, not so much about their interests. They do want to have a connection. They are sexually interested in you. So it can be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Water signs up here as well. So they want to go about this in a slow, methodical way. They're going to take their sweet ass time, but they mean it. They're serious. They're serious. How will they feel about you? Like you are the new chapter in their life. We like this shit. How you view this? You dig it. Or we like this shit so far. <laughs> How will you feel about this person? Okay. Stable. A new beginning, a new chapter. This looks healthy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You'll be a fucking fool not to take this shit. Look at that. New beginning, fun and frolic, screwing like crazy. Can be a soulmate type connection. It would be somebody that you would feel very comfortable with, very, very close to. Anything else, source? Anything else? One more shuffle. Apparently that's it. Okay, well, can't complain about that. So this person that's watching you sees that you are good looking, financially able to take care of yourself, very, very independent, outgoing, no drama, they recently got over an ending. Whatever they had is done. They want to go out and celebrate. They want to give you attention. They want to take things slow into a new chapter. Again, you'd be a fool not to... Mm -hmm. They have a loved one to offer you. And they, they have... You got two aces here. This is looking like one hell of a good offer. Can be an Aries. Can be a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. Aries Leo Sag again. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Gemini. This is beautiful energy for something new. Source, does uh, Pisces know this person? Upright, no. Reverse, yes. No, you do not. Wow. Ooh, yeah, yeah, you don't know. You don't know, Pisces. Something new. Let's go for a timing card. Don't tell everybody. When might this happen? No rush. Yeah, I really think this person wants to take their sweet ass time. And then, uh, not anytime soon. Yeah. Let's get, I want one more for an actual. Well, we do have July here. So you might meet them soon, but they really want to take it slow. Very slow. Okay, they are in no rush, but you could meet them in July. Wow. Very nice energy. Let's get an answer from Source. Let's see if we can get an answer. A little input from Source. Pretty good. Decent energy. We like it. We like it. Pisces. Source any input. Anything else? Okay. <coughs> yes, but stay open minded. Yes, city, yes, 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 and the universe is working on it. Very nice. You can do it. Oh, Jesus. I'm gonna beat him. Alright, thank you so very, very much for watching. Many blessings, and we will see you next time.